In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove any background in DaVinci Resolve using Magic Mask. Now, Magic Mask works the same as rotoscoping in After Effects, and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of Magic Mask. Now, first things first, for you to get your Magic Mask right the first time, you need to make sure of a couple of things. First, you need to make sure that your timeline matches your frame rate of your footage. If it doesn't, it might struggle a little bit. Click on your footage, go to metadata, and make sure that that frame rate matches your timeline frame rate. That way you'll ensure that whenever it tracks the magic mask that it will track perfect the first time. Secondly, you wanna make sure that the footage that you apply the magic mask on does have a lot of contrast. Now, magic mask does struggle sometimes if the foreground blends a little bit more in with the background. So you wanna make sure that the foreground stands out from the background, that way magic mask will work a whole lot better. So with those two admin items out of the way, let's jump in and see how to apply the magic mask. So on my timeline here, I've got a clip of a lady doing a thing with this bluish background. So I wanna remove this blue background and I'm gonna show you after you remove it, how to even remove some of the blue that stays behind. So first things first, let's jump to our color page where we will apply our magic mask. So this is where all the magic is going to happen. Uh, I'm gonna press Z just to make this viewer full screen. So because this is a magic mask, we want to scroll through our footage and look for a point where everything is in the right places so that the magic mask will work best. So I would recommend starting on a neutral frame like this. So we're going to go ahead and go to the mask uh, tab over here. You can click the magic mask tab. And when you open the magic mask tab, you'll see there's a whole lot of different options, which we're going to be jumping in right now. Now, if you take your arrow towards your subject, you'll see there's an eye picker with a plus sign. That shows that whatever we select now is going to apply the mask to. So with that selected, we're gonna click and drag and we're gonna just outline our subject. Let's do that. So make sure that you don't select any of the blue, even in between the hair. Uh, there we go. Now you'll notice that there is no background, no black background, even after we apply the magic mask. Now the reason for that is because we need to create an alpha output before we can get rid of the background. So the way we add an alpha uh, um, output is right click here in the node section and select add alpha output. Now with the alpha output, you'll see that nothing is connected. So we need to connect that blue box with the alpha output. When we do that, you'll notice that we now have a black background. Now you'll see there's a lot of blue in the hair and we want to get rid of a blue, but without sacrificing the detail of the hair that's around her head, right? So what we're going to be doing is first of all, um, the default setting is the faster quality setting, but we want to select the better quality setting. Already, once you click that, you can see that the detail um, has already changed. You can see that it has already created a much better mask. So we're gonna go with the refine uh, range, uh, just play around with that. And as we do, we can see that um, it does get rid of uh, the blues and make the, uh, um, the edges a little bit softer. Now, I'm fairly happy with this. Um, I'm not gonna play around with the other settings. If you do find that your edge or the outline isn't uh, sufficient, then you can play around with those settings until you find the perfect setting for your mask. And by the way, if this is your first time visiting this channel, welcome. My name is Duan. It's do unto others what you want to do unto yourself. And here we talk all about video production. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just track my magic mask throughout my whole clip. Now, we are at the beginning of a clip, so I'll just go ahead and here you can see the keyframe options. You can either go back, go forward, or go forward and then back. So I'll just go ahead and click forward. 
So it's gonna go ahead and track my mask from beginning to end. All right, so now that the magic mask is done tracking, we can just scrub through the whole clip and we can see that the blue background has been removed throughout the clip. Now, let's go back to our edit page and just add in a background. We can move that up to our second track and in generators, I'm just gonna create a paper background, with a white background and just see what that looks like. So we can see that around the edges, we still have blue. So the way to fix that is we're going back into the color page and in the color page, we're gonna go to the color slice panel over here. And so because that is uh, a bluish cyan color, we're gonna go into the cayenne cyan, I don't know how to pronounce that, and we're gonna reduce the saturation. And as we do that, we can see that uh, the blue goes away around the hair. And now we've got all the detail of the hair without the blue, which is perfect, that's what we want. If we crop the hair, a lot more then we lose the detail of the hair and then the magic mask seems cheap and we don't want that look we do want it to look sharp professional with a lot of detail so guys i hope that this video was helpful i'll see you in the next video cheers